A very good day to you and welcome to Shalom. It is a freezing cold day and it's starting to rain. So I've got five minutes and I'm going to tell you a good story in five minutes. I want to tell you about the Good Shepherd. You know, I used to run 500 sheep on this farm many years ago. Beautiful stud sheep. But I want to tell you, a sheep has got no idea of direction, no idea where to go, and doesn't know how to come home. And that's an actual fact. A sheep needs a shepherd. You can take a horse, and you can take it miles away. That horse will find its way home. You can take a cat. As you know, you can take it to the next city and let it out of the car, and it'll find its way home. But a sheep, a sheep cannot find its way home. A sheep will just follow the next sheep in front of it. And that's why when I was in agricultural college many years ago in Scotland, we had a tall gentleman in the class. I'll never forget him. His name was Macmillan. And he got special compassionate leave to go home in the middle of the term at the agricultural college because he was a sheep farmer and his old dad had a, a, a hill farm. And on these mountains on the west coast of Scotland, he had to go home to bring the sheep back down because they were lambing in the, in the valleys and no one else knew the way. A sheep will follow the next one. If the one sheep goes off the cliff, the whole flock will just keep following. That's how it is. Now the Lord talks about you and me being like sheep that have gone astray. Okay, each one to his own way. You know that scripture. I want to tell you, we need to start to trust and follow the good shepherd. If you look at uh, John chapter 10, and verse 9, this is what the Word of God says. Jesus says, I am the door. By the way, the shepherds in the Middle East in the old days, they would have the, the crawl where they put the sheep at night, and the shepherd would literally sleep in the door. Those wolves that were coming at night to take the sheep, they had to actually step over the shepherd in order to get the sheep. And there's no ways they could do that. I want to tell you, when you give your life to Jesus, He will protect you, folks. He'll protect you the whole way. He is the good shepherd. He will not run away. He says there's hirelings. They work for a living. As soon as the going gets tough, they run away. But not the shepherd, because he owns the sheep. The sheep are his. And so this is what the word says. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved. And will go in and out and find pasture. He says, but the, the thief, the thief comes to steal kill and destroy. I want to encourage you to start to follow the Good Shepherd. He'll take you to green pastures, to still waters. Remember, the good pasture land is this Bible. That's right. As you start to read the Word, God will start to strengthen you and fill you up and you'll start to live a life of abundance. Okay, the church, that's another pasture land. Folks, we need to get into the church. You say, Angus, I've been hurt in the church. I've been let down. Folks, listen to me. Go to the church because there's good people in that church as well. And go and receive good food. There's always good food wherever the good shepherd leads. You see, a good shepherd doesn't lead his flock into barren land. When we had our sheep here, we've got cattle right behind you. We've got to feed them. It's winter time now. So my son brings in the bales of hay and he feeds them every afternoon. And that's why when the calves are born, they're fat and they're healthy. The good shepherd is the same. He will not leave you to be devoured by, by wolves, but you need to follow him. You need to understand his voice. You see, in the Middle East, the shepherds lead their sheep. They don't drive them from behind. They lead them. So you need to know the shepherd's voice when he calls and he says, follow me. A lot of sheep die, not because of lack of food, but because of lack of appetite. Isn't that sad? A lot of sheep. Some people die of anorexia, folks. They don't die because they've got no food to eat. They've got no more appetite. We need to pray for them. You need to have a hunger for this word. It's this word that gives you food and gives you eternal life. I want to say to you in closing, Start trusting the Good Shepherd. He will not let you down. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye.